In times past, the word of God came to our fathers through the prophets, but now it has come to us through his son, to whom he has given all things for a heritage. Make a day toward the servant of God, Reverend Simpebe Diako, the senior pastor of High City Church, every Friday right here on sunny 88.7 FM between 10 and 10.30 p.m. as he takes you on a spiritual journey to receive the virtue that can create and recreate your world, health, and wealth. For counseling and prayer, call or WhatsApp 27 862 Two six two seven. God bless you as you listen. I love to worship. Hallelujah. God bless you so much. It's a privilege to come your way one more time. My name is Reverend Simpibidiakum, the senior pastor of a high city church. And I'm going to be a prophet for the next half hour. I believe we are going to have sweet fellowship together. I'm in the studio with Reverend George Damwa, so you share a word of prayer with us. And then we'll go into the word of God. Let's pray. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, one more time, we say that, Lord, let your favor, let your presence be upon us. We pray that, Father, even as your prophet is declaring your message to the nations, O God, open hearts, O God, to be able to receive this word. Everything, anything in the atmosphere that is fighting, your children from accepting the word is rebuked in Jesus' name. At the end of this message, let us receive faith to face challenges and hope to face tomorrow. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Glory to God. We have been talking about the will of God concerning your life. And for some weeks now, we've been talking about the fact that God wants you to live a fruitful life. And God wants you to live a productive life. That's the will of God for you. Our uncle scripture have been John chapter 15 verse 16 where he says you have not called me but I have called you you have chosen you and ordained you to go and bear fruit and that your fruit should remain. So fruitfulness and productivity is the will of God for our lives and I believe that even as we keep trusting the Lord we are going to be fruitful and we we'll live a productive life. Amen and amen. amen. And so tonight I'm going to try to conclude on that a bit. But even in the subsequent weeks, we're still going to be talking about fruitfulness and productivity. And I believe that your life would never be the same again. This is your voice from the High City Church. And you can find the High City in a shaman village at Pure Water. And at the taxi rank and the cathedral is right there. And then in other locations in the city, I'm sure you find High Church. So it's been, been a great time. The fellowshipping has been live. It's been interactive. And tonight also, I'll open the phone lines. And I want you to call in. I want you to share your testimony with me. I'm going to pray with you. And the Lord is going to break you through. Say amen to that. Amen. Now, if you have your Bible close to you, then you open to Luke chapter 13. I want to read verse 6, 7, 8, and 9. And tell you three things I can identify in this parable which our Lord Jesus Christ told to explain an important principle on fruitfulness and productivity and why is it necessary for us to seek to bear fruits. Amen and amen. Amen. So Luke chapter 13 verse 6, 7, 8, and 9. He spake also this parable that a certain man had a fig tree planted in his vineyard. And he came and sought fruit thereon and found none. Then said he unto the vine dresser of his vineyard, Behold, these three years I come seeking fruits on this fig tree and find none. Cut it down. Why cumbrate it the ground? And he answered and said unto him, Lord, let it be this year also, till I shall dig about it and dung it. And if it bears fruit well, but if not, then after thou shalt cut it down. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. In the scripture, our Lord Jesus Christ is telling us very clearly that God, the Father, or the owner of the church, or the vineyard, is seeking fruits from the plantings of the vineyard. God's expectation of each one of us is to bear fruit. 
God gave us the opportunity to live life and live on earth because he wants us to bear fruit. But there are certain things in the environment and the company we keep that is trying to stop us from bearing fruit. And those things are keeping us from being as fruitful as God wants us to be. And many of us are unproductive because these things in the environment are affecting our ability to bear fruits as Christ would have us bear fruit. He said a certain man had a fig tree, which means that, which means that a fig tree was not really planted by the man, but he instructed the planting of it. Just like the Lord has called and ordained us and have instructed us that we should go out and preach the gospel like I'm preaching, but of us have been planted in the vineyard of the Lord. We have been planted in the church. And once we are planted in the church and we are drinking of the water that comes from the word of God from the pulpit to us daily or weekly, God is expecting us to bear fruit on the word. God is expecting us to bear fruits of faith, of righteousness, of repentance, fruit of the spirit, fruit of the womb, fruit of our hands, fruit of the body, fruit, all kinds of fruits. God has been coming every time, every now and then, every year, looking for fruits on every single person that is planted in the vineyard of the Lord. But the unfortunate aspect of it is that many of us planted in the house of the Lord are not being fruitful. We are very unproductive and we are not showing forth any fruit. Many of us are just taking up space in the church and in the kingdom. But a time is coming when God says, I am going to instruct the cow, the cutting down of all unfruitful and unproductive plantings in my vineyard. And God has sent me as a prophet to you tonight to teach you the secrets of fruitfulness and how you can bear fruit, useful fruits and productive fruits in the kingdom of God. God never called anybody into the church or into the Christian faith just to occupy space. He called and ordained us that we should bear fruit. That is what the Bible tells us. So fruitfulness and productivity is the will of God for your life. And tonight as I speak over your life, I want you to understand that there are three simple secrets or maybe four that would help you to be fruitful and these are four master keys you need to understand when it comes to fruitfulness and productivity number one nobody can be fruitful as a christian or as a child of god except the person is planted in the courts of the almighty or in the house of the lord until you have found yourself in a church where you are planted and nurtured by a pastor and is accountable to the church and to your pastor, you may be denying yourself the opportunity to bear fruit by faith and by spirit. The man had the fig tree planted in his vineyard. The fig tree did not visit the vineyard once in a while. It was planted there. So to be planted and to be stable in a church or in a fellowship or under a pastor is a sole requirement for fruitfulness. The Bible says that those who be planted in the house of the Lord or in the courts of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of the Almighty. So to be planted in the house of the Lord is a requirement for fruitful and productive living. That's right. You cannot visit the church once in a while and expect to be fruitful by faith. There are so many ways of killing a cat so you can be fruitful in several other ways. But if you really want to be fruitful by the word of God, by the spirit of God, and by the, 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 the spirit of Christ, then the first requirement for fruitfulness is to be planted in the house of the Lord that you may flourish in the courts of the Almighty. Right. Now, the second master key to fruitfulness, which I find in the scripture is that it takes time to be fruitful. He said, I've been coming for a year, two, three, looking for fruits. So the man who had the fig tree planted was patient with the fig tree in the first year because the Lord understands that it takes time to bear fruits. That's 
God understands that you don't bear fruit in one week. So he may allow you to prepare yourself and to grow and to mature in the first year of your faith. But in the second year of your faith, he begins to expect a certain kind of growth and maturity and fruitfulness from you. In the third year, God may be running out of patience. But you may still have a fourth year where you need to do well and bear fruit. So a lot of believers are not bearing fruit because they do not respect the time factor when it comes to bearing fruit. Bible, Bible says that he that is in a haste to be rich shall not be innocent. So if you are really wanting to be rich and you are not patient, you will not bear fruit. And you shall not be innocent and you shall have your fair share of poverty. It takes time. It takes time. Bible says that do not be lazy, but be you followers of those who through faith and patience inherited the promises. So if you have been trying to bear fruit, if you have started a business, if you have started anything, school and career, something, you have started a ministry, a church, one of the main things I need you to understand is in as much as it takes stability and continual planting in the vineyard of the Lord to bear fruit, it is also going to take time. I mean, you cannot plant a cocoa plant and expect it to bear fruit in the following year. It takes time. There is a time appointed for every planting of the Lord. Every vision that is planted, every ministry that is planted, every fellowship that is planted, depending on how far God wants to take that ministry, he may require the passage of some time. So when your breakthrough delays in coming, there is no reason to give up and there is no reason to try to help yourself. That's right. Because fruitfulness takes time. So do not let anybody make you impatient. I'll be opening the phone lines in a few minutes. And when the phone lines open, I want you to call and I want us to make this meeting very interactive because I'm sharing with you. But you can WhatsApp me on 0278 622627. And this is the voice from the High City Church. My name is Simpe Bediaku. Now let me give you the third factor to fruitfulness. The third factor is fruitfulness is the digging about and the dunging of your planting. There are certain things that grows around a man, whether spiritual, social, or physical, which keeps that man from being fruitful. That's right. There are certain things that a man must receive as input. If you want to be fruitful and productive, there are certain spiritual, social, physical, and other forms of input that must come into your life to make you fruitful. And this kind of input is what we call the ding rate. As Jesus supplies the blessing and gives you an open heaven so that you can be fruitful in the things you are touching. But there are times when there are certain things and people that grow around you and begin to eat up the blessing and the fatness which the Lord blesses you with. But I came to assure you tonight that there is a vine dresser in the house. There is a vine dresser in the church. There is a vine dresser in the vineyard. His name is Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior. And this vine dresser, this gardener is willing and ready to cut and to approach in the plantings of darkness that steals blessings from your life. Jesus is ready to heal every sickness out of your life. Jesus Jesus is ready to rebuke every evil power, to rebuke every satanic power. He is ready to dig around you and to remove everything uh, that was not planted by the Father. And tonight as a preacher, I invoke the hand of the Lord uh, over your life right now to begin to uproot uh, every plantings of darkness uh, in the curses that were planted in your life. Uh, may they be uprooted tonight uh, in the name of Jesus. Every sickness is in your life. Uh, may they be uprooted uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, every negative thoughts, uh, every wrong thoughts, uh, anything that have crept into your life uh, and have planted themselves up. Uh, which are eating up the fatness, may they be uprooted by the mighty hand of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 
Glory to God. Somebody say that Pastor Simpe, you have no idea what I'm going through. Well, I have no idea what you are going through, but the God I serve and whom I belong, the God of the high city church, his name is Jehovah, his son is Jesus. He is ready to begin to liberate and to cut off the things uh, that are eating your increase and are eating the blessings and the things that have been stealing blessings out of your life. He's rebuked right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus, Amen. who died and rose again. Glory to God. Amen. The will of God for your life is for you to be fruitful and productive. And the first secret to fruitfulness and productivity is to be that man planted in the house of the Lord. And if there is somebody listening to my, the sound of my voice who says, Pastor Simpe, I want to experience this blessing, then Pastor Simpe is encouraging you be planted in the house of the Lord. Find your way to the high city church, to the cathedral. Be planted in the house of the Lord. Don't keep shifting from one place to the other. Don't roam from one prayer meeting to the other. Be planted in the house where the Lord has appointed you and you are on the path to becoming fruitful and productive in the name of Jesus. There is a second thing. If you really want to be fruitful, you must have respect for the time factor. For the factor of time. Have patience and say that I know that my God is alive. And in his time, he shall make all things beautiful. Glory to God. And the third thing that it will make you fruitful is to allow the Lord to dig around you. To approach the things he didn't plant. And to open heaven and pour his blessings upon you. Right now, as I speak over your life, may the Lord stretch his hand uh, approach anything he didn't plant. Uh, approach sicknesses. Uh, break curses. Uh, I rebuke devils out of your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, if you are listening to me, I want to pray with you right now. You want Jesus to approve him around you. You want Jesus to dunk around you. I want to pray with you. You want to give your life to Jesus. You want to be born again wherever you are. You just want to say that I'm tired of running life on my own. I want Jesus to come in and to fix my life and to give me that brand new life and make me a brand new creation. I want to pray with you right now. Wherever you are, if you can hear the sound of my voice, wherever you are, in your hotel room, in the prison, in the police cell, in the hospital, in your car, in your bedroom, in your living room, in the kitchen, wherever you are, I want to pray with you. And Jesus will come into your life. And when he comes into your life, he will dig around you. He will dunk around you. And he will make you fruitful. You want to give your life to Jesus. You want to be born again. I want to lead you to pray right now. Right now, wherever you are. I want you to close your eyes if you can. And just say, Lord Jesus. Just say, Lord Jesus, I have heard your word. And I believe. I know you died for me died on for me. the third day. The, third the day. Father raised you from the father dead. From Jesus, the I believe. Jesus, I and believe. And I confess with my mouth. Come into my life come into my and life. make me a brand new creation. Brand new Thank, creation. You creation. Thank you for saving me. In me. Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. If you have prayed this prayer, then I believe that you become a child of God. Now, I want you to call me to the studio. I want to pray with you. I want to bless you. I want to cast out some devils. I want to commit you into the hands of the Lord. You say, that pastor i want to be fruitful i want to pray with you you can whatsapp me on 0278 622627 0278 but you can call into the studio right now i want to hear your voice i want to pray with you call into the studio on 054 242314 Two, call me to the studio. I want to pray with you. And the Lord would have put the things growing around you. In Jesus' name, amen. May I know who is calling and where you are calling from? I am Samuel Usu. Samuel Usu calling from where? Calling from Ofanko Barria. Calling from Ofanko Barria. Samuel, speak to me, Pastor Simpe. Hi, City Church of Showman. I'm listening to you. I just want you to pray for me. Pastor. I will pray for you, Sammy. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for your son, O oh God. Uh, he wants to be fruitful. I pray right now. I put anything planted around him by the devil in the name of Jesus. Open heaven over his life. Pour your blessings and make him fruitful. In Jesus' mighty name have I prayed. Amen. Amen.
Amen. You can also call me to the studio 0542423142. You can WhatsApp me on 0278-622627. Let us share fellowship. Call me. I want to hear your voice. I want to pray with you. God bless you for calling. It's been your time with the prophet, Pastor Simpebedia. I'm in the studio. I want to hear your voice and pray with you. Hello, me. I know who is calling and where you are calling from. Oh, we lost you. You can call back again. Glory to God. It's been such a blessing having fellowship with you. Hello, me. I know who's calling and where you are calling from. Hello, Pastor. Hello. My name is Stephen. Stephen, Stephen, where are you calling me from? I'm calling from Santa Maria. Santa Maria. Stephen from Santa Maria. My name is Simpi, yes. High City Church, Ashoman. Speak to me. I'm listening. Um, I also want to be fruitful. And also, I'm looking for a job. I need um, some prayers. I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to pray for you. Father, your son is looking for a job. I pray that you open a door for him. I speak favor over his life with God. He wants to be fruitful. Open heaven, sir. Any curses on his life, operating against the progress of his life, is rebuked right now. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Thank Glory you. to God. God bless you. You can also WhatsApp me 0278-622-627 or call into the studio 054 Two four two three one four two. Hello, me. I know who's calling and where you are calling from. Hello, Pastor. Good evening. Good evening, me. I know who's calling. You're calling. You are who? Okay, I Jacob just Sun City a shaman. Me, I know your name. Yeah, for Evelyn. Every name in Kasamiti. And your man, Koye, Mamma, no babon pie, so for the Mawa Hunt, you know, babon pie, Yenti, the Rade Ork, Yamon Pie. As a Frado was some so beer quain, the new beer quain, a toho, Nania Seno, Usiesieno, Sabremo, a dear beer, could see a minia by, I am man, your man, Koyeno, Mikasa, the enemy, because a free nerco, my new no can crawl, I want a brabomo. Tano wabasa wana brabu mu. Na bibia ranko yiye manu. E wo kristo yesu di mu. Amen. Amen. Evelyn nyami nshira wa nyami betine ni mwetchira wa. Amwa ye nshira kura maboso. E wo yesu di mu ti. Amen. You can also call into the studio 0542423142. I want to pray with you. Or WhatsApp me on 0278-622-627. And it's going to be a fruitful time fellowshipping with you. It's been great. Hello me. I know who's calling and where you're calling from. Hello. Oh, we lost you. You can call in again. 0542423142 or 0278622627. Pastor Simple High City Church. I'm in the studio and I'll share what a prayer with you. Yeah, it's been a great time. Hello, me. I know who's calling and where you are calling from. You said you are who? Joyce from Ashali Buche. Joyce from Ashali Buche. Ashali speak to me. I'm listening. This is my marriage. Your marriage. Let let me pray for you. Let me pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I speak over the life of Joyce right now. You heard her very clearly. She's speaking about her marriage. I pray you take one from solitary and say the person is in a family. I pray for marital joy. I pray for marital fulfillment. I pray for fruitfulness in this marriage and in a marriage. In the mighty name of Jesus, have I prayed with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. Yeah, if you call me on the Tigo line, I may not be able to pick it now. You can only WhatsApp me, but you can call into the studio 0542423142. Hello, me. I know who is calling and where you are calling from. Um, good evening. Good evening. Who is calling and where are you calling from? Please, I'm Amanda. I'm calling from Tema. That is wonderful. Amanda from Tema. Speak to me, Pastor Simpe. I'm listening to you from the High City Church. Um, please, I want you to pray with me because I want to go to university this year. I want to gain admission into the tertiary institution. Wonderful. Have you written your WASI or SSE or A-level or O-level? Yeah, I wrote WASI this year. That is wonderful. I'm going to pray with you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for special favor from Amanda, for Amanda that you'll be able to help her. She wants to move on in life. Nothing can stop her. I rebuke 
every evil hand that is trying to stop her from being fruitful in the name of jesus i pray i release favor upon you receive it in the name of jesus Amen. Yahu Alexander, Amen. you yeah, God bless you. Yahu Alexander, you send me a message. You want to follow Jesus. You want to put all of your heart on him. You need a destiny changer in your life. Receive that destiny changer in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I pray for you. Ashram Alex. God bless you. Glory to God. Zero five four two four two three one four two. Zero five four two four two three. Hello. May I know who is calling Hello. and where you are calling from? Hello. Good evening. My name is Peace. Please, please speak to me. Uh, I, I need your prayer for my marriage. I want to pray with you. Reverend Amway is in the studio. He'll pray with you right now. And God is fixing something about your marriage. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for peace. I say that, Lord, give her marital favor. Let things work for her. And let her have the testimony that we will celebrate and give you the glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. God bless you. Peace. You are favored in the name of Jesus. You can also call into the studio 0542423142. Nana Safu, you said you need prayer. God should increase you and give you godly wisdom. Yeah, hello. Me, I know who is calling and where are you calling from? I'm calling from New Bawe. Yeah, New Bawe. Your name again, please. I want you to pray for me for my character. I want to change from Christ. All right, let me pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for you. Your son is calling from New Bawi. I believe that has been a great blessing having him. I pray that you are put things around him which are not making him fruitful and cause him to be fruitful. He wants to give his life to you. Come into his heart and stay in that heart. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. God bless you. You can also call into the studio. 0542423142. Namasa, for God bless you. May you increase you. May you receive godly wisdom like never before in the mighty name of jesus hello me i know who is calling and where you are calling from yeah, daddy, good, evening. good evening may i know your name and where you are calling from yeah i'm daniel i'm calling from Tema. daniel from Tema. that is wonderful speak to me my name is pastor simpi high city church a showman speak to me yeah daddy i want my life to be fruitful and job Need you need job reverend i'm in the studio you pray with you your life will be fruitful and that job is coming to you receive it let's pray father in the name of jesus i pray for your son may you approach anything around him that is hindering him from getting access to a gainful employment lord oh god may you favor him bless him and let his life see advancement release the grace to be fruitful upon him and let him see some fruits in his life in jesus mighty name amen Amen. God bless you. This is your time with the prophet. My name is Simpebediak Akon, High City Church Ashoman. You can also call into the studio 0542423142 or WhatsApp me on 0278. Hello, me. I know who is calling and where you are calling from. My name is Nilai. Your name is? My name is Nilai. Nilai, wonderful. Calling from? Mile 7. Mile 7. That is wonderful. My name is Simpe. Yeah, my name is Simpe. I'm also from High City Church, Ashoman, very close to Achimota. And you can visit us one day at the High City Cathedral. But speak to me, Nilai. Let's speak. Yeah, yeah. Pastor, I want you to pray for me for a financial breakthrough. Financial? Financial, yeah. I thought that I'm even losing my relationship with the one to even set all down. Oh, may the Lord open a door for you in the name of Jesus. May he bless the works of your hands, sir. You will not lose this relationship. No, God will open a door for you. Receive that favor. Receive wisdom for increase. Favor for increase. I rebuke every evil hand like the hand of the Midianites that are keeping you from financial breakthrough in the name of Jesus. God bless you. Amen. Amen. This has been your time with the prophet. You can also call 0542423142. My name is Simpi Bidiak, Ohio City Church Ashoman, and I'm inviting you to visit me once at the cathedral. God bless you. Hello, me. I know who is calling and where Hello. you are calling from. Hello. My name is Rashid. I'm calling from Ajengano. Rashid from Ajengano. Rashid, yeah. speak to me. Pastor Simpi is listening. Yeah, I want you to pray for me. I need a job. You need a job. Yeah, I'll pray for my christian life and you're going 
the skin I want it to grow is going down. It's going down. Wow. Yeah. Lord, I pray for Rashid. He needs a job. I release a job for him in the name of Jesus. I don't know what kind of job he needs, but God, as you open my eyes right now, let him find that job in the name of Jesus. Listen, Rashid, you will find that job and your Christian life will begin to increase and improve in the mighty name of Jesus. Have I prayed? Amen. Amen. I'm reading the text message right now. I don't know who this job is for, but I found out that someone, someone, well, uh, this is Abigail. You need a job. You, you are called, well, um, okay, you need this job. I don't know whether for yourself or for your fiancé, but Abigail from New Bowie, the Lord will favor you and give you a testimony. You find that job, you would not be disappointed anymore in the name of Jesus. Hello, me. I know who is calling and where you are calling from. Hello, hello, I'm from Kumasi. You are calling from? Kumasi. Kumasi. Wow. That is wonderful. You said your name is? Yaku. Okay, I can't hear you clearly, but you're calling from Kumasi. Speak to me. Yeah, I'm calling from Kumasi. Uh huh. Uh, I want to be a faithful and I want you to pay for my job. Oh, right. Father, you know he has a desire to be your child. He wants to be in the church. I pray that you would plant him in your house and he will be planted. And I pray for his job. What he touches with his hand will turn into good. Listen, I give you the midas touch. As Papa Hagen talks about, you, your hands will touch. It will turn to gold. Prosperity will come to you. The Lord will establish your feet in his house. In the name of Jesus, as I declare it, so shall it be. Glory to God. Reverend Opong, I agree you and it's been a fruitful time knowing that you are listening god bless you you can also call into the studio 0542423142 our time is almost up it's been your time with the prophet i pray for gifting the lord will give you a fruitful life in your prayer life and you receive financial breakthrough in the name of jesus may i know who is calling and where you are calling from my name is matthew i'm calling from accra and uh, matthew Matthew from Accra, that is wonderful. Yes. Matthew from Accra, speak to me. Speak to me. Yes, I, I, want, I want you to pray for me, for my work side. Let Reverend Amois in the studio, he's praying with you right now. Open your heart and receive these blessings over your life as the great man yes. of God prays with you. Reverend Amois, let's pray. Let's pray. Father, I pray for yes. Matthew. I f pray yes. that Lord give him favor at the workplace. May he Amen. see promotion before Amen. his contemporaries. In Jesus' Amen. mighty name. Amen. 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 Matthew, you are favored. I'm telling you, the Lord has favored you. You can WhatsApp me on 0278-622-627. Even as we leave the studio, it's been your time with the prophet. It's been a fruitful time, and I believe your life would never be the same again. My name is Simpibidiako from the High City Church. You can find us at a showman, and your life would never, never be the same again. Until I come your way, same time next week, keep walking by the way, the truth and the life. God bless you. Amen. We believe you've been blessed by this broadcast. Call or WhatsApp Pastor Simpe on 0278-622-627. 0278-622-627. Or visit highcity.org for free daily devotionals, inspiring audios and videos. Whenever you are in our area, visit one of our services. Every Sunday and Tuesday at 8 a.m. You may locate the High City Cathedral at Ashoman Village, Purewater Taxi Rang. Make a date with us same time next week. Remember to WhatsApp 0278-622-627. 0278-622-627. God bless you.